and the LCR CD circuit. Second time. So it sticks in your brain. This is going to be in the exam. It's very important. More important than I can tell you. I is I not cos omega t. The voltage across the resistance is I not R. Oh, I, I mean the maximum voltage across the resistance. You see the V R O maximum voltage here. Yeah. Maximum voltage across inductance is I not XL. Okay, maximum voltage across the capacitance is I by or I X I not X C, which is I by omega L. Okay. Generally, the voltage is V naught cos omega T plus phi. So the resultant voltage should be square root Vr squared plus Vl minus Vc squared, which I have explained to you using the vector diagram, right? Which gives us I naught times R squared plus XL minus Xc, the whole squared. That is called the impedance. The whole term is called the impedance of the AC circuit. And I uh, just stopped there. I wanted to ask you this, and I don't know how I missed it. Look, I asked you this question. Is this leading, lagging, or in phase? Leading. But leading by how much? Leading by this angle here, which I'm going to call phi. So what's tan phi from there? Tan phi. Tan is opposite by adjacent. So isn't that going to be this whole thing divided by I times R? Okay. So tan phi is going to be XL minus XC divided by R. Tan phi. Okay. Now you see the vector diagram there simplified. The voltage across the resistance is in phase with the current. That's XR, right? And then the voltage, the resultant voltage Assuming that uh, the voltage across the inductance is greater, will be along this line. You perfectly understand. And so the final resultant is along this. And this is supposed to be phi. Okay, not theta. Phi. That's the impedance. That is the LCR series circuit. Can be kept for another day. Resonance, we talked about it. We already talked about it. The RMS current at resonance is definitely ERMS by Z. Yeah, because current is voltage by impedance, isn't it? And what do you mean by resonance? That means the inductive reactance becomes exactly equal to the capacitive reactance. Isn't that what you mean by resonance? Uh -huh. So if you put XL is equal to XC, then Z is minimum. And that means the current is maximum at resonance and you get omega times the inductance is equal to 1 by omega c rearrange that that gives you the resonant angular frequency as square root 1 by lc this is what is used in radio television tuning like i told you to tune to different radio stations how would the graph look like right here Look at the resonance curves. On the x-axis, you have, what do you have? Omega. And on the y-axis, you have current. And you see three resistances there. The first one is 10 ohm. It's a flat resonance curve, not a good one. Second one is 5 ohms. Can you notice that? And the third one, is it 3.5? So surely the current at resonance depends on the resistance. And if you look at those three numbers given there for capacitors, if the capacitance is 2 nanofarad, inductance is 5 microhenry, and then the resonant frequency is going to be 10 to the 7 radians per second. That's the resonant frequency, as you can see. Isn't that where the current becomes maximum? Okay, you can easily calculate that. 
And with that, we have come to the end, almost the end of LCR's.